Hello everybody, this is Mark Wilson with Ames Tools. Uh, we're going to talk today about the pump and the wear parts that you would replace on this pump. Uh, as you know, with Ames, you receive these wear parts for free with the rental. So we're going to walk you through some of the easy parts that you would change out on site that are wear parts. So if you had a problem on site, you'd know how to replace them. Um, on the pump, you basically have an adapter that's attached. Um, on this adapter, there's a small O-ring that holds these two pieces together, the duct bill and the main filler. Um, inside of here, there's an O-ring. What you want to do very carefully is, I'm using a, a, a utility knife, is just to kind of push the old O-ring out, and then with the screwdriver, remove it out of the spot there. Now, inside of here, you want to make sure this is nice and clean where it's seated, so if there's any joint compound dried in there, so the new O-ring that you would put in there will seat properly. So again, you just take the old, the new O-ring, pop it right into place, make sure that it seals. Now the new seal should hold tight this piece. It shouldn't come out very easily. As you know, when you're filling your box, this slides out easily. That's when you can tell when your O-ring needs to be replaced. So that's an easy replacement. On the top of the pump, you have a gasket that you put in between your adapter, whether it be the filler adapter or the gooseneck adapter. And the paper gaskets, you should have several of these. This just seats right in here, nice and even, uh, onto the pump head. Now if you're adding the gooseneck, you would just take the gooseneck, place it in and tighten up these nuts. You can use an uh, adjustable wrench or a three-quarter inch wrench just to snug and tighten these pieces on here. Very easy to install and when you're cleaning you want to make sure that uh, if, if it gets lost um, you have a, a replacement to, to put back on. So have, have several of these. Another part that you'll replace will be there's an O-ring on the top between the cylinder and the, the pump head itself. Okay, so as we're removing the clamps from the cylinder, as you remove this cylinder from the pump head itself, you'll see there's an O-ring up here, or a seal. Um, this usually won't wear. This part usually just becomes lost if you're washing it. Um, but if it's worn or not sealing, you want to replace the new part. Just slide it over the shaft here, place it back onto the pump head, make sure that it sits evenly on the top here, and then move it up towards the top of the pump head and make sure that it's nice and, and flat, not twisted. Replace the cylinder, clamps down, and that part is replaced. Now on the bottom or the foot, we also have two different types of uh, screens. You just want to release or turn this wing nut. Take a uh, screen, your choice, whether it be a coarse or a fine screen, and then place it in between on the foot knob. There's a small hole on the bottom to go over that threaded rod or screw on the bottom. Just reinstall your wing nut, tighten it back up. It just keeps it in place so it doesn't fall out. And you've installed your screen at that point. Um, so those are the main parts on the pump. There is one more O-ring on the gooseneck. It's, it's the same O-ring that we replaced on the other filler adapter. Again, the same way to replace this if it starts leaking. Just take a, just take a razor knife very carefully and then use a screwdriver to remove the O-ring. Just pop it right out of place and discard. Taking the new O-ring, but before you do that, you want to clean out this little seat again. Make sure that there's no joint compound or mud that's going to keep this from seating properly. Place the new O-ring in to the seat. Make sure it's seated properly, and then they've replaced that part. 